Oh, oh hi! I haven't seen you there! <laughs> hey there, everyone, this is uh, Cal playing some Hyper V. Hyper 5? No, it's a 5, I know it's 5, but I like to save anyways. Let's just go ahead and start this. Tundaru Panic, that bird thing from Doki Doki Panic. So, uh, that bird thing from Doki Doki Panic Panic. Uh, oh, Albatos, okay. I wasn't sure if he meant like the bird on the on, on, on the carpet that is floating, or you know, the, the Albatos. Whoa, Farball coming from the hills. Okay, you can sort of see the plant sort of through the cheese wedge there. That is a fast Goomba, and that's a bomb I'm just gonna casually run to. Okay, now that things are cleared up, I can kind of look around for things, maybe. Ah, uh, there we go. That's what I imagine would be. Oh no, I did. I just said there, you see. Well, you could see it for yourself. As of now, I'm a lot more panicking because of the artillery than the artillery of the birds. But you know, the, the, the mobile, non-mobile artillery, the, the ground artillery. Like that guy down there. I'm kind of expecting anything ever here to go and try and mess up my day, yo, old school style with Cheerios. And so, which is why I've decided to bomb these blocks around, just in case there's a gift that I might be interested in, you know? A little power upsy, as they are called in the farthest regions of the world. That's what I thought. Oh, I was kind of hoping that it would not explode my mushroom like it didn't do, so, uh, I suppose you could say that my hopes were- What am I doing here? <laughs> wow, yeah, I am playing... Extremely good here, just to be different. Right, right, it's good to be different. That's Cloud, that's a midpoint. Wow, I haven't died here somehow. You can slide and kill a Venus Fire Plarp, 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 Plarp. You can slide and kill a Fire Plarp. I did not know that. Whoa, I don't know why you're so uh, casually self destructive there. Uh, whoops, Birdman. But it's probably something you should not do. Because casual self-destruction eventually leads to starvation. And you don't want to starve, Mr. Bird, because... Ouch. That plant there will still kill me through the sand. That is incredible in a new knowledge base that we must add to Encyclopedia Denmarnica. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm using the word Denmark again. I love... What oh! People from Denmark have asked me why in a lot of my old videos I mention Denmark a lot. I just like the sound of the name. It sounds like a fanta fantasy like first name of a character or something. I don't know. I... It's probably just me. <laughs> now, uh, Yukon Man there is gonna throw a tantrum which has solidified into a blue shell. It's pretty spectacular. Oh yeah, I somehow I just scrubbed that super complicated jump last time, so glad to see that, whoa, the natures at B are, are still kind of around. Okay, so that guy, he is inconsequential. We can bounce on birds all day long, but we can't ride them like in Mario 2 or Doki Doki 2 if you want to be all uh, surreal here, but let's not be, you know? Let's try and find some format of convalescence here. What am I doing? I don't know, there's a missile. Missiles are dangerous because you know they fall. They might... Oh! Break your toes! That's the end already? Man, that is a short level and also I'm walking along the bottom of the water. You know, like, I can probably, be considering how things go, just flat out not edit everything here in this little kind of easy stage, but I'm not complaining. That was really fun, but it's kind of weird. The level was easy, yet I played kind of good somehow. Oh, it's on a cloud. I think it's on a little, like, ice thing. The answer hides in the darkness. Wow. Whoa, look at that. It's dark. It's incredible. Uh, okay, uh, parentheses by Cup. Another text that even baffles my Japanese friend. Our best guest is... Quote, maybe you should enter the number that reveals itself. Well, maybe I should. So does that kill me? No, it doesn't. It's just, it's just kind of funky feely. It's funky fury. It's the fury of the funk. Who would have thought it was a ghost that is black and dark and scary? And that's a ghost. He's dark and scary. We can go down here if we want to. There's a door. What doors it lead? And to the night there is a guy. His name is George. Uh, but... He doesn't want, you know, he's a bouncer, so 
he wants us to call him a more fanciful name, like like John or uh, Jerry Pie. Whoa! I'm gonna write him instead of you know bothering with the rest of the level, and I'm going to screw up and fall and get bitten by a flying turtle. Someone said in the comments recently that the Koopas are not turtles and they're like related to dinosaurs. But I'm sorry, but they have a shell that is very turtle-like, and so I will call them a turtle if they're not happy. They can contact me through somewhere, you know, the Koopas, and I'll be like, hey there, there's a three! There's a three! Why is there a three there? That is kind of strange. There's a passageway. There's a passageway! That is just flat out insane! There is a two. What am I seeing here? What is this here? I don't know what is going on, you see. It's gonna run and and run and and run and some more. Wanna get killed by the neighbor next door? That's. I know, I know. Ugh! Oh no, oh no. Well, there's a switch there. So I think that something is happening. So I'm gonna go and take the pad that will lead me to press the switch. Damn. That, what, that, what, what, uh, okay, so I just press the switch here. What does that do for me? I am not actually two even in the same room because, you know, there's like big differences here. Oh man, I, I, I okay, well let's, uh, let's look around some more. Yeah, now suddenly it's deserted except for that guy. Hey there, that guy, how is it going today? I'm just going to try and ignore you as best as I can, like nothing personal here. It's just that you're kind of aggravating. Okay, what happens now? I guess I'm at an exit question mark-ish looking thing that you may find under the soles of your boots if you're looking very carefully using a magnifying glass. I suppose I should assume that there is a, a, a secret exit? <laughs> I'm kind of confused, honestly. Um, let's look around some more, I guess? Okay, so going at the end of the three room with the... Uh, the flying guy, you know, the flying fish guy, leads us to this room. I know it's different because it gives me a cape here instead of, um, whoa! Instead of yes. <laughs> okay, so I might re- And now this leads us to a completely different area with uh, disco lightning and fancy free and staircase. I don't know what is going on, but we're going somewhere here, and we are in yet another alternate version of the world. I am confused, I'm not going to lie here. Okay, so we seem to have several alternate takes here where the different kind of spiritual attackers may dwell. So, what now? Like, I don't know what to expect. I'm gonna fly again, just in case there's something good to see on top of the world here. I don't know, like, do I want to go back in that door? There's a pipe up there. That might be interesting for someone like me and you. I don't know. Let's give it a try. Can I get up there? Ah, I can't even get up there, though. That's that's a bother. Maybe I'll be, I'd be able to get up there abusing uh, our ghostly little roundish shaped friends? Hmm, I think it's an exit pipe. Oh, no it's not! Okay! So, I am now back at the... Wait, am I back at the beginning? I get the feeling. If I am, I am going to just rewind out. Yeah, I think I am back at the beginning. If I go here... Return of the fishing fish guy room. Okay, so we don't want to... Okay, I guess I'm stuck that way. So... Oh, all along also I could have used that. You know, just, just saying. <laughs> so... 
where am... There's another switch there. Why? And there's a door under me, I just realized. Uh, what position do I want? I, it was off. I guess now it's on. Let's go here. I guess. This leads us back to the beginning place again, I think. Oh, come on, don't... Oh, man. Uh, I don't know in what position I want it. And I can't go back here. So, what am I missing? What is going on here? Where is everything gone to? So I guess that means that's the fourth door I want to take, but I mean it just leads us back here ultimately, and I don't see what that changes. I don't recall ever seeing a door number five anywhere. Um, unless it's not really the same and there's actually a minute kind of difference somewhere? I don't know, is the pipe always up there? Maybe, okay, what happens if I go from the front door? Leads us to a swimming area that is completely different. It feels like I'm inside a box. I've always wanted to be going inside a crate, especially if it's a Han crate, because then you know you're dealing with quality and also spiky tops. But this adds even more complexity to this little pigeonhole we will not ever call home. Do you love the texturing though? It looks really nice. I think it's created using a trans like a semi-transparent layer too. Which is really clever and you no know, really nice. So what do we got there? We got a flower, we got a thing. We got a guy there bouncing around, it's pretty great. Then we got a thing. I'm gonna get hit again because it's kind of hard to navigate sometimes when you're swimming and there's a green pipe, it's pretty great. If you go inside, we'll bake a cake. And okay, we're in a new interpretation because, well, there's not even the wall here. Also, you know, the kind of a kind of a big guy going on here. Oh, man. Yeah, this is a much more repaired state type of affair. I want to go in that door. Well, let's science it up, see if there's anything of value here. Believes us back to the beginning, okay. Uh, otherwise, what is okay? So there's not an invisible anything here, so where am I? What is going on? There are now blocks. There's a blue thing. Is this important? There's not a door or anything, but you know, it's there. Is there? something stopping me there. So this is what? The uh, one, two, three, fourth. It was on the fourth pedestal. I don't know if that's important, but it's there. Wait, so now I'm somewhere flying, kind of. Can I jump? Yes, I can. So I can do this here, I suppose. I don't know. What is going on? I'm just kinda walking on that thing here. Might want to go up there, maybe. There's a wall there, you see. Then I get killed right here. Oh man, really? <sighs> uh, um, um, I have no idea what I did. I'm in the room you get to after the transparent pathway, you know, with the flashing ghosts and whatnot, and if I go here, I go through the goal here, which is not, you know, the same place as usual, and you know, Mario does his little fanfare, like, it looks like the other, like, goal room exactly, but when victory strikes, suddenly there's another path growing here that leads all the way around there. So I guess that was the normal quote-unquote path, and I accidentally got the real path, well, the secret path the first time, and uh, all along, there's a lot of rooms that don't seem to have a purpose, question mark, large amount of confusion. <laughs> I have no idea. I just flat out have no idea.